guys, Edith Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I was asked to make a lounge chair. Now this is the picture that was sent to me. I fell in love with it and I've had a couple of this request for a very long time. So I'm going to start off with large boxes that I got from Walmart. I'm going to open them up and arrange them in such a way that I can draw a pattern and then trace it on each and every one of the boxes. You see all those lines and folds here? I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend a large wide box and probably long TV boxes, a lot of them. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm just going to use what I have to see if it's going to work. But like I said earlier, it will be better to make this project on plain large boxes without folds or lines. Now for this first part, I'm going to be using 10 boxes. Like I said, I'm just going to try out the pattern that I have in mind to see if it's going to work with these boxes that I got from Walmart. The next step is supposed to be me gluing them together and taking another 10 and another 10 and another 10. But I decided to just use 10 alone to see if it's going to work with a design that I have in mind. Now I kept that aside and then now I'm just going to take regular boards that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut them to size and then join them together and then make a roll and this will be attached at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead now and glue on the remaining pieces. I'm going to fill each and every one of the spaces with cardboard.
Now, because I was trying out a shortcut for another method, these are the things that I found were wrong with what I just made. To rectify my problem, I decided to just ditch what I made earlier and then go for another one and gluing a lot of boxes together. For the two sides of the chair, I decided to go with TV boxes that are used for packaging TVs. Here's another thing that's very important for this project. You might want to try out double corrugated boxes or double layer boxes. That way you have them thicker and when they're joined together, it's double what you would have had if you used singular corrugated boxes. I joined a lot of boxes together and then some of them, I wrapped them up with tape. Now I have eight sets of thick join cardboards. Because I'm going to be tufting what I'm going to make, I'll use this plastic sheet that I got from Home Depot at the top and at the bottom. I attached foam to it and now I'm going to be making points where I want my tuft to be. With a pair of scissors, I'm going to be making very large holes on those points. I'll be using the crushed velvet fabric for this. And I'm using this color because I want the area where this is going to be to be all white and bright. Now all I'm doing is locating where the points are and stapling it down. The sides are cardboard, but it's still going to hold staple pins. So I'm going to be stapling down the sides with a staple gun and then after that trim off the excess I drew the shape of the sides on a hard foam board cut it out and then I covered it with the same fabric and then I attached it to the chair with glue and tack nails then I used silver trim around it the stapling pins are going to be covered with crystal buttons. Here's what my chair looks like now. I am so excited with the way this turned out. And I love the way it's so sturdy. And super comfortable. This can hold a lot of weight but then I made the design for just one person to sit on it because of where I want to keep it and it worked perfectly well it doesn't sink because it's super strong I really love this chair and I love the design it's so simple yet so elegant anyone walking into my home will never guess that this was made out of cardboard boxes This was such a fun DIY and I love the way it turned out. And I hope you all enjoyed this video too and learned one or two things from it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.